Yo, what is up? Face cam time. But I actually hit it 100,000. If you want to see some big numbers on the YouTube, this is it, bro. 100,000. No money, though. I haven't got paid yet. It says I've got 4,900 watch hours. But here it only says 340 public watch hours. The majority of my videos are public. Come on, YouTube. And I'm halfway there to 500. Yeah, we're halfway there. I don't know what's wrong with me, I'm just happy, like, but I'm so tired after training yesterday that I can't manif manage or manifest the energy out of, uh, what the fuck, to get the, the energy for this, oh, just 100, 101, yeah, casual, yeah, uh. <laughs> yeah, it feels good, it feels good, 101,000 views, 100,000 views, I've been uploading for a while as well, like, I haven't been find my, my oldest video. It's been a few months, bro. I've been, I've been uploading videos. And my growth has been pretty rapid. I've been pretty consistent with the uploads. With the Inoue fight coming up, which literally put me in the spotlight. <laughs> I have to say that. Yeah, I was so quick with it. As soon as I finished the recording of me watching the fight, I instantaneously edited it. And I... <laughs> Instantaneously edited it and uploaded it onto YouTube, which I think uh, it's great. Okay, honestly, I'm very happy. Um, big 100. Uh, can't wait to see what happens in the future. Soon come 1 million and 100k subs. But yeah, that's very, uh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a little minute before that happens. I'm sm I'm smiling so hard my cheeks hurt. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's crazy. I'm tired, bro. I look. I look like a creep in, the, in this video, man. I should get a good angle like this. So you can see my facial features, you know? <laughs> yeah, wow, big 100k, wow. The percentage is off the charts as well. It's 999,000. Let me see on YouTube Studio. I can see on YouTube Studio what the actual percentage is. Um, YouTube Studio. Okay, anal an anal an analytics, analyzing, sixty-eight thousand views, which is not. I'm not even at sixty-eight actually. Actually, I'm at hundred thousand. Uh, actually, I'm at hundred thousand. Actually, I'm at hundred k views. Uh, you you need to catch up quicker. That's four thousand. Let me just add it in the video, man. That's four thousand five hundred fifty-two percent more than previous twenty-eight days. 4,800 watch hours, so I've smashed my watch hours. I should be able to apply for monetization. 56,306% more than the previous 28 days, and 118 sub, which is 20, is 2,850, 2,850% uh, more than the previous 28 days. The real time views, you can see it right here, 101. K views. Let's fucking go. That's um that's nice to see. A lot of comments. Um I'm not gonna respond to all of them. Uh I wish I could, but um yeah, it just I think this guy was speaking. I think this guy was this guy made a Japanese comment, bro. It looks weird as hell. Yeah, great. Jimmy uncut. Let's fucking go. We're happy. Never give up, guys. Guys, never give up. <laughs> no. I look like a twig right now. Okay, I still look like a twig. Um uh, 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 uh. Guys, never give up. Always work hard, and you'll get what you want in life. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's definitely interesting to um, it's definitely interesting to go through. Damn, this guy ruined the two fifty. Made it two fifty one. What the hell, dude? Come on, man. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. I really want to reach five hundred subs soon. Soon come. 
I can start earning money off YouTube. VP, I can be a YouTuber. Yay! Yeah, it's um, it's definitely interesting to think about. Like, I've been over it for a minute, and it just wow, wow. Moving forward, I would like to really make proper videos on my main YouTube channel, proper edited videos on my YouTube channel, and begin uploading there as well. Like, I, I've been very slow on those uploads. Um, tell me the truth. I breathe through my mouth when I talk, and it's really annoying when I when I watch back the recording because I'm gonna have to edit this video. But yeah, great, it's great to see. You. Catch you guys in a bit. Live mediocre, die mediocre. You you just riding off the wave in New York anyway, Fulton? Yeah, I am. I am. I totally am. I'm going to do a Terence Crawford and Errol Spencer video thing because it's part of my interest, like. Any boxing related to me, it got it got popular. Um, a lot of topics I do talk about aren't entirely mainstream though. The way it is, I'm really tired. I'm going to sleep sleep. Wake up again. Um, yeah, I think Terrence is going to win. Let's make it quick. I'll break it up more in the video. But Terrence has a very slick defense, very, very good. Selective counter punching, very, very good. Selective, um, even when he's, pressure, um, he's pressuring his opponents. He is very, very good at um, pressuring. He just goes. Whoosh, whoosh. He really tries to find that punch. He only, not only like. I think he might be power pound number two after. If he beats Errol, he's not power number two. If not, then he, he, he goes way down. And if he goes to the draw, then I think that changes. But um, Errol is right now number six. Power pound. I think we can go through the. Right here. I'm gonna go to the video soon. Actually, I'll, I'll just do it right now. Like. Fuck it, bro. I'll crop up this video and make it make it the Terrence versus Crawford video. But yeah, this is the pound for pound list. I just spawned the entire thing. Pound for pound list. The zone's quick with it. I like that's why I like the zone. Four minutes read, four minutes read. Anyway, yeah, two pound pound reads. Oh, they what did they what did they count? Overall record, quality of opposition. Quality of wins, activity. Number one is New York anyway. It would have been um oh well, no anyway can only really fight Floyd Miller in this fucking point, it's crazy. But yeah. Yeah, no anyway, I agree with this. Number two is Alexander Usyk down one spot. I agree with this, but um I don't know, Alexander Usyk is like a methodical is that is that berserk? No. I'm bugging. Um Alexander Usyk is more like a methodical breaking down type of guy boxer. Like he likes to psychologically and physically break down his opponents, like with AJ. It was quite unfortunate to see. I really like AJ. Um, Ter I really wanted to see in in their prime. Like I was talking to a really good friend of mine about this, but yeah, I would I would really like to see when AJ had um when Deontay Wilder. Uh, when Deontay Wilder had the WBC belt, and right here. And um, I really wish this version of Deontay Wilder uh, fought Anthony Joshua. Damn, why are you so happy there? I, he is pretty much prime. I know Anthony Joshua, like the way he's going, he's going about is really sad. Like he was saying it before, like um, he's 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 worried that he might be out of his prime. I was like, oh. He's like, there's not much you can really learn after you get to my stage. Yeah, which is effectively the tip top. WBO, WBA, WB, IBO. What, what the? What title is this again? Okay, I'm a dumbass, but we, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we're gonna go to the times. It looks clean with the belts. Ooh, only one missing. WBC. Ah. Only one missing, bro. Oh my god, dude. IBF. I agree. I just want to see number one. Number one is the IBF belt. Yeah. So WBA, WBO, IBO, and IBF belts. Just WBC. And maybe the WBF belt. Pretty much it. I don't know if that's an actual robot. 
and this is the interim belt champion WBC. I wonder what I, I, I was like so confused on what this belt was, but um yeah, it's WBC in the ring magazine classic belt. Looks good. W. W. Anthony Joshua. I look at Eddie Hearn, bro. Yeah, it, I really wish these two juggernauts would have fought at their prime. I can't believe that would have been a good fight. I think they still should fight, but um, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. It's one of those things that that people talk about and they, they say, yeah, I think Andy Joshua's down and Dante Wilder is down as well. But like the communications and the contracts and there's something something always is wrong and something always breaks down. And yeah, it's just it's so annoying. But that would have been a good fight. Anyways, with the Terence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. fight coming up. I think Spence would do extremely well, of course. He's a very slick boxer, very good power puncher, everything. But like I think Terence just has more skill set more skills within his skill set. And it might change. I might be fucking wrong, bro. Like everyone is saying Spence's gonna win, Spence's gonna win, Spence's gonna win. But like I might be wrong saying Terence is gonna win. But I don't know. I, I genuinely think Terence Crawford is gonna win that fight. Um Yeah. What's what these pros predict? many reasons why he thinks his pick will dominate Crawford. He said that Terrence may have a versatile skill set, but Spence is just bigger and stronger than him. And that's not something to underestimate in a boxing match. Errol's high work rate is also a factor that'll make things difficult for Bud, as he'll have to up his pace a lot while also maintaining top shape. Then there's the age matter. Seeing as Crawford is three years older than Spence, both of them are aging out of their prime and need to be extra careful about cardio and weight regulations. If the match potentially reaches the 12 round mark, it could be pretty difficult for Terrence to dodge Errol's leg attacks since the man's simply not young enough to withstand that. Plus, his opponents at 147 have been all regular names. The most impressive being Porter or Garcia. So that's something that, that puts his credibility to the test. Algieri didn't leave out Spence's injury. No. Both. Okay, you're, you're ignoring Cal Brook here. And Cal Brook, Prince, even Prince Nassim Mohammed was, um, um, was really, really highlighting. And yeah, Cal Brook is a legitimate opposition. We have the box right here. We can see the record of thing. Sean Porter, obviously, very big win. Amir Khan, big win. Jose Benavidez Jr. big win. He knocked out uh, Jose Benavidez Jr. Somewhere down the line, you can see um Cal Brooks as well. I'm sure it is. Where the hell? Because Cal Brooks for both. Yeah, Cal Brook, big win. Come on, man. He lost two rounds on the scorecard. This is a scorecard, correct? I'm not sure. <laughs> With the math, bro. Forty and three. We need a record. Um, the special one, special K. What well, specials? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. I think I know where this gym goes. Where this guy, uh, gym this guy goes to? Ain't no way. Um. Yeah, just interesting. It's very interesting. Sean Porter. There's a lot. Sean Porter's lost. It was kind of sad because you can see Sean Porter punching the ground and everything. It's um. Quite unfortunate. Four losses. It hurts. Very good record though. 30 and 4. 31 and 4. Uh, it's tough. It happens, bro. GG. <laughs> I think I'll take the rest of this. Um, yeah, when it comes to amateur record as well, um, Spence has a, a much bigger amateur record than uh, Crawford. Spence has like a 162 uh, wins and 12 losses amateur record, and Spence has like a 56 and wins and 12 losses I'm sure record so it's incredibly, incredibly different um yeah the truth it's a it's a quite a it's quite a lot uh both of them have wins over Cal Brook both of them have wins over Sean Porter Danny Garcia as well a lot of good guys in the division um I think they do deserve their spots in top 10 top of the pound but um, I think Crawford it's just barely going to scrape by and this might is this is going to be a 40 and old Crawford coming out of this Definitely, definitely, definitely. Trust me, Daddy. Pause. Though saying that while he had the better competition, Terence wasn't the one with two car accidents and a torn retina. So there are a lot of situations to consider. That's very unfortunate as well. That might cost him the fight. I know what it's like going into a fight blind. Look at me, my dumb, my dumb, dumbass has glasses. I was born with glasses. 
so fucking annoying. But, He's um, still pro Spence, though he is open to changing his bets later on as the fight gets nearer. To his credit, Spence is completely confident in his abilities to take down his opponent, saying that he'll break him physically and mentally. He has glasses too? Sheesh. Those Damn. are some bold claims to make against a fighter who's being favored over you, even if it is just a slight edge. But he said a lot more on the kickoff press conference for the July 29th showdown, especially about his opponent's mentality, about how he's definitely going to fight and make it a great show for the crowd. Spence does feel like he's the superior fighter, though, and even mentioned how most fighters were just too light in the ass for him. Comparing Crawford to Danny Garcia, the truth said that both were great fighters, with Terrence being faster and quicker, and Garcia being the best counterpuncher in the world. Errol has a long history of facing off against some of the best counterpunchers in the game, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem for him when it comes to Crawford. And he's pretty aware of the impact of this fight, too, claiming that that it will be legacy defining for both of them and that if Definitely. it didn't happen it would have been a dent in their legacies the boxer even said that this is the type of fight people will be talking about for 20 to 30 years to come and that the next two generations <coughs> you know what reminds me of <coughs> a bit of a sugar ray leonard and tommy hearns um crawford he reminds me of tommy hearns and spence reminds me of sugar ray leonard even though you know He's not as tall as Tommy Hearns, and he's not as short as Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, they're quite evenly heighted. He's a bit taller, actually. I know it's um, it will be a good rivalry, a ri rivalry, and it will be a probably good fight. I think Crawford might edge out the win. If not, it might go to split decision. Maybe Spence. Maybe. It's a 50-50 fight, but like it's hard to say like who's gonna win. It genuinely is hard to say. But if you go on off pure KO TKO record alone. Tyrant has much better KO TKO, TKO um record. So yeah. I don't I don't know, it's just What does he? Sorry does. Okay, let's look. He's got thirty KOs and Errol Spence has twenty two KOs, yeah. But a KO record. We have more fights as well, so I, I think he'll keep up. I think he'll catch up with uh, Kales. If, if, if he's Kales stays on the same streak, if he's, if he's 32, you'll have 30. Yeah, am, I, am I brain lagging? If, if he has 36 wins, he'll, he'll get 30 Kales. So he'll be ahead of. What, what does that mean? What is Kale percentage? Does it not say here? Box um, amateur. About 77. All points. Uh, point wins. This is box amateur. Round 77. I thought I thought more though. Thirty six. So why do they have that many wins? What's going on here? What's going on here? Nebraska, Texas, Long Island. Interesting. It was number one in two of five. That's crazy. Jamal James. Why does it sound so familiar? Adrian Broner. How is Adrian Borner still here? Lost to Manny Pacquiao, lost to Mikey Garcia, lost to Sean Porter, lost to Marcos Maidana. That's tough. He's 16th, which is crazy. Adrian, the problem, Broner. I really should he is coming back though, is he not? 2023 to 96 for Bill Hutchinson. One star fight? Interesting. Yeah, wow. I, I didn't know this, but um, I'll watch it on YouTube later. Yeah, I think Terrence is going to win. Probably on the scuff video. And I'll see you around next time. Catch you later. Catch you later. Peace.